OK, so we all probably love a bit of a nag, but should you stop criticising your partner altogether? Dame Helen Mirren, she has been sharing her lessons in love and she says that she believes in unconditional praise from one's loved ones. And she even said she doesn't want any criticism at all from her partner, Taylor Hackford. So is criticism helpful? Or would you rather be blissfully aware? How do you take criticism, particularly from Gary, Jane? If I've asked his opinion on something, then I'm quite happy to hear the good with the bad. Unsolicited criticism, <laughs> do one. Because <laughs> I think life, you know, I'm used to it in work, you know, my work life, you get bosses all the time going, that's not very good, do that again, blah, blah, blah. Um, so in, in work, I'm used to criticism, but at home, you, I think Helen Mirren's right in a way. You don't really, you wouldn't want to walk in the door and then have your other half no. piling on. So if I haven't asked for it, no. Yeah, I'm the, I would be the same with Eamon. <laughs> if he's watching this now, he'd be spluttering in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything. He's dialing in right <laughs> now. Particularly work, you know, because obviously we work together a lot. If he ever said at the end of oh. an interview, like, why did you ask that question? That would literally send me into yeah. a rage. But you see, I think that criticism, some criticism can be very helpful. Constructive um, criticism. Constructive, that's the word, Brenda, well done. Because, um, I see, I disagree with Helen Mirren, politely and nicely. I think it's unrealistic to live in this blissful world where everybody says, oh, you're fabulous, darling, and that meal was fabulous, darling. I mean, I think that's unreal. And so, therefore, you have to trust the person you ask for criticism. And I must you say... Ask. Yeah, but yeah. if it ask, hasn't, yes, you haven't but, asked... But it's very important. And I remember when I was doing Radio 2, uh, somebody wrote in and said, you know, I really love your programme, etc., and I hope you don't mind a minor criticism. You actually said... There you go. Actually said, actually, seven times within one sentence. And I thought, now that is good criticism. And I really paid attention to that, except I'd I forgot. Like, said yeah, it everyone's today. a critic. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> well, I don't on know. The radio. Sometimes it can be helpful. I quite like it. I think it's nice if somebody can tell you their honest opinion, as long as they're not having a dig at you. You know, I think it's it's good. I'm, I am that person. If I see something out of place, I'll say something, and you know, it makes you think. It makes you look but back into for yourself example, and think. Well, yeah. Eyebrow gate. Oh, yeah. well, you know, <laughs> eyebrow you know. gate. If you missed eyebrow <laughs> gate, so Brenda, and actually at this that program, you were sitting there. I okay? was sitting there. So yeah. Brenda sat down and I just remember looking at her and thinking, they're interesting eyebrows, You I kept thought. looking at me and looking that, away. That must be a new wet look eyebrow, I thought to myself. <laughs> That's all I thought. So I didn't say anything because if you'd have had lipstick on your teeth or your bra strap showing, absolutely 100%, I'd have gone, Brenda, or, or. Yeah, but, but because I thought it was a look that you were embracing. <laughs> you thought it was a look that you hated. And, and I, didn't, didn't... I didn't love it, I have to say, as a look. <laughs> have we got the picture? <laughs> Oh so this, my was, goodness, this was Brenda, right. OK? <laughs> it's a I clip. I was in the corridor oh, thinking her eyebrows are shocking, but I don't want to tell you her. You're all there and nobody... I thought it was just shiny eyebrow look. Yeah. I mean, so, no, what is it? I don't actually have eyebrows, so I have to tattoo them on with this stuff. And yeah. I put it on and it's supposed to think. This yeah. is not what my... Oh, so my what, are you God, supposed to peel that, that off? Oh, oh, no, yeah. So and you sat peels. there laughing at me. It peels off and you sat there laughing yeah, at me. We laughed and laughed Yeah, but no, but you were laughing during. Every time I looked at you during the show, you were like <clears throat> looking away. Maybe. Yeah, but have you asked yourself? We, but if that was me, I would have said something. Well, this is the thing, ah, and I see. think a lot of people might not say something because they're nervous to say something, but I accept it. I accept it wholeheartedly. Why would they be scared of you, Brenda? Well, Seriously. I have no idea. Do you know I what I mean, no Gloria? <laughs> but Honestly, I did have this cat. one instance where I was working <laughs> and I was doing a show and we got through all of the rehearsal period and then the producer came and he'd seen the, the, the show that we were going to be doing for the tech run and he came and he says to me, well... He took me to, to one side and says, well, you're not actually funny and you're the person that's supposed to be driving this and you're not actually funny. And I don't this mind... This was after sort of, how long This of was rehearsal? after four weeks of rehearsal. Four weeks. I don't mind if you have that rehearsal, but please tell me how to, you want me to be funnier. But he couldn't think up of anything. I didn't change anything and it all went really swimmingly well. But, you know, it's, I don't mind if you've got something to say. Just tell me how. What about if Help it's me. family? Because I think... If you, if you criticise your friends, which I do rarely... Mm. Um, but if I did, it would be done in a very gentle... You know, the, no, your approach no, 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 no,
Yeah. Brenda, I hope you don't mind. Um, I hope you don't mind. Tell me to mind my own business, but I've just noticed, blah, whatever it is, where loved ones are much more brutal, probably myself included. You know, with your loved ones, you're just banging out like, what the hell are you wearing? Or what have you done to your hair? It's more brutal there with a no loved one. There is no difference between my friends telling me or my family telling me. They all just rip off the Band-Aid and tell me, and they don't really care. And I appreciate them for that honesty. I want that all the time. What about with your children? Have you... It depends on your personality as well, doesn't it? Because uh, Ellie, my older daughter, and I are very similar. And we have endless what I call yes but conversations where we all want to have the where we both want to have the last word. So she'll say something and I'll go, yes, but <laughs> and then I'll say my bit. She'll and then she'll on. go, yes, but oh, and then wow. it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> Whereas Grace is much more with both of us, she'll just go, hmm, yeah, okay, whatever. And then either just not do it or take Signal it on board you. or whatever. But she doesn't feel the need to to, to kind of do the yes, but thing. Mm. Yeah, what you have to trust the person you ask for advice, because advice ultimately is, you know, smothered in, in criticism. Yeah. But, and sometimes if you get something and you think, well, in your head, you're going, oh, I don't think that's true. But actually, I can go away and think about it, and actually, they're right. It's a different mm. point of view. Yeah. And I have, there's a, a producer who I worked with for five years daily, and I trust him with everything. And if I ever have something that is really a problem and I maybe just think I need a professional view on it. And whatever he tells me, almost 100% is correct. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. I so I, I people, quite like it, really. Yeah, most people listen to advice and criticism and end up doing what they want anyway, really. Do you but think? We all bounce off our friends. No, but there will be someone. Yes. You, I mean, I would always listen to him. I mean, if I've asked for his advice, I mean, he's very yeah. good advice. Yeah. It's just, like you said, the unsolicited. Yeah. Like, what did you do that for? Yeah. What well, have you put that there for? Yeah. That makes me... That's nagging. Well, that's, that's what nagging. I was going to say. <laughs> well, that's what parents do a lot to their children. They say this and this and this and I never listened and I wish I had. So a lot of things that I, I heard when I was growing had. up. Yeah. You know the way you say, you wish somebody would tell you? On a plane once, I did the proverbial of going to the loo. Yeah. And I'm afraid my skirt was tucked in. Did you at take the one of these? Did you yeah. take one <laughs> I know. And when I got back to my seat, which was quite far back, I thought, why didn't Nobody somebody, why didn't some woman just yank my skirt? Yeah. I literally would have told you. That was embarrassing. I literally would have told you. I would have liked that criticism, yeah. yeah. <laughs>